Hi guys, this is Jerry with yet another video. So in this video, I'll show you how to set up this proximity chat for Among Us. So recently, the developer of Among Us, the Innislog, has officially announced that it's going to support this uh, proximity chat. If you're playing on PC, you can actually use this mod. You just need to install this mod, then change the IP, then it'll automatically connect to the uh, server whatever the server you connect on among us that's how it actually works and it even shows you how the players the number of players in the game and the number of players who are actually alive and dead so you know who is actually talking so I'll show you how to do that and uh, what you need to do is just you need to go to this uh, link here and I have put the link in the description so github you can then download this one download this crew link setup then once you download it, just install that application. Sometimes it'll ask for permission. You need to give it a permission. And sometimes if you have uh, some antivirus software, sometimes it will give you warning, but don't worry. So just skip that warning, then just install it. Once you install that, the installation is pretty straightforward. Once you click run, then it'll automatically install that application on your PC. Then done. Once you install, just and it launched that crawling application and this is its user interface and from here you can click this open game then once you click that open game if you have installed the game uh, on steam it will automatically connect to among us on steam then open that game so that's how it actually works so click open game to launch the game okay so it connects then once you join a server on among us it will show you the number of players and uh, players who are actually live and dead etc and if they don't have the proximity chat enabled it will actually show you an icon on them otherwise no icons that so it actually works and to set up things you need to go hit this you know this gear icon here this is where you set up your audio input and output devices uh, and here you can adjust the voice distance from here and there is this uh, microphone options here. You can actually set the you set your input device, like you know, microphone reels. Like you have several ones, and you may have some default one. You can set it to default. And uh, if you want to change the output, like you know, sometimes you may have um, headphone, and at the same time a stereo speaker. You have connected to your PC, like this one, high definition NVIDIA, high definition audio. And if you have headphone, you can actually connect it to. Uh, headphone from here you can change the output device and here you can also uh, change the options like push to talk or voice activity like that if you set it to push to talk so you need to push we to talk you know that's the that's the hot key to enable the voice and if you want to keep it open if you want to keep the mic open you need to set it to voice activity and there is this this mute that's the right alt button the right alt key will actually mute the mic and there is this different options as well if, if you want to disable your output device you need to click uh, right control so and there is this advanced option this show lobby code etc so it'll actually show the lobby code once you join a server on among us and enable special audio that's as well that if you want to enable uh, special audio you can enable it and this is where you change the server you need to change the server here this is not the default server you get so for this one, you need to go to this site and copy this link here. Copy this link and uh, go to that application. Just uh, replace the server link here. That's it. Then you're almost ready and click confirm. That's it. Then go back. So you're ready to go. You can actually put this on top of your MMS game if you have some application like desk pin. Testpin is actually a small application. You should be installing it on your PC. You can actually pin windows on top of other windows. So sometimes you won't be able to keep some windows on top of other. So in this case, you want to keep it because uh, it, it actually shows you how many players are actually live, live and how many players are dead and who is actually talking kind of stuff. So it's better keep it on top of Among Us. Now, for example, if I tap on this game, it just disappears. So, so you don't see how many players are alive or dead. So, so I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just pin it on top of this Among Us uh, game. So it always stays there, you see that? 
it just doesn't disappear it's always there okay so and I'm gonna connect online mm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a game so one thing to keep in mind is that only people who have this application installed on their PC will be able to talk to you there on the same server okay so you have to be on the same server otherwise it doesn't work so and all you should have uh, the Crewlink application installed on your PC uh, in order to, uh, to be able to talk to each other otherwise it won't work okay otherwise it just shows uh, the server code and the number of people in the game that's it and the dead and the live as well that's it so I'm gonna join so here, so it, it didn't join, okay, let's find another game. So see that, now there are five people here and none of them have this cooling application, so they can't actually talk, okay? So that's where you see this icon on top of that. Once any of these player actually die in the game, the character will turn into that ghost mode. You see that, you know, ghost mode on Among Us, that's how it works, so you know, this dude is actually dead even when they are talking so if someone is uh, revealing an imposture well, after they die so you know who actually revealed it so that's really cool right and it actually shows the code as well if you want to share you can just copy this code from here you don't need to type you can just copy this code from here and share it with anyone else you want so that's how it actually works guys now here I'm gonna play you see this so I'm actually a crewmate but unfortunately we don't have anyone with the crew link proximity chat application unfortunately otherwise we would be able to talk to each other so that's how it actually works it's really simple just install set things up launch the game through the crew link app then you're connected that's it you only connect with the people who are in the server right now in the game so that's what makes this uh crew link really unique and also it's a small application anyone can install and talk to the players right in the game. That's it. So now here you can see that this dude is dead. Uh, so he's been turned into ghost here. That's how basically actually works. I hope this helps. And if you want to join our Discord, join Discord because we stream Among Us every day and you can join us as well. It's going to be really interesting. Actually, I let viewers and subscribers play with me. So you can also join our Discord and voice channel if you, uh, you know, if you don't have this. I'm not going to use this crewling that much, but uh, we have our own server. So you can join the server and you can actually join our voice channel, okay? But this could be really useful for some of you especially if you don't want to join any discourse or and you want to play with just with the friends and let them know about this small application they will install and you can actually talk to each other while playing right so i hope this helps guys don't forget to like and subscribe and join our discord thanks thanks for watching